always a fun day when you get to hook up a gravel. Get that in there. Come on, buddy. There we go. Right, we can back this out and touch. Suck this up. I gotta try putting anti-fog on the front windshield here. All right, well, I learned my lesson. So, uh, one of those hoses is brand new. Some of the fittings are new as well but we gotta get some Outback wrap on here. When I was uh, loading this up in my dump trailer a couple months back, we were actually doing a little bit of work um, at our kid's school. Loaded it up and as it hit the pivot point on the trailer, you know, you got the, the high side wall there. One of these hoses was hanging way out like this and caught the corner of it as I was going forward and I didn't realize it at the time, it just kept on going. And um, I went to make an adjustment or close the grapple, maybe that's what it was when I had it loaded in there and just a jet stream of hydraulic fluid just smashed <laughs> and landed on the front wall of the dump trailer. So we were all done using the grapple at that point and I had to make do with a bucket. Um, but anyway, so we had to get a new hose made up and get a couple new fittings, but I ripped both these hoses off right down here at this manifold. You can kind of see it looks, that one's still a little cracked right there to that mount, but uh, pulled one of the hoses straight out, ripped the, the end of the hose right here. The fitting stayed strong on here, but the hose pulled straight out. And then when I hit that function, to close the grapple it must have been it just went a jet stream straight forward against the wall so we're going to fix that today we've got a bunch of different sizes 5 8 13 16 what is this one one and a quarter and we got this mega one here i think we're going to probably use the one and a quarter for this today let's see what this looks like here so this stuff bundles protects they're one of the Discount Club members, actually. Uh, GWT, save 5%. Actually, no, save 10% with code GWT. You go to outbackwrap.com. Pretty cool stuff. It's cheap, too. It's inexpensive. Can help identify your hoses for the right ones, too. They have hose markers. But today, we're going to use it for bundling and protection. Let's see here. This really looks like it's the size of one hose, but I think our... I think our hose boss is too big. What does this say on here? I mean, that's, yeah, that's too big, I think. Let's try this and see how it goes, see if we can expand it. Actually, I'm gonna start at the opposite end here and see if this makes, makes more sense. I think that's gonna work, but we're not gonna do all of it in one fell swoop because that would get kind of ridiculous. So we'll cut off, you know, I don't know, a couple feet. See if we can get that to work. There we go. There we go. That's exactly what we wanted. Boom, that's a good stretch there. There we go. I just grabbed a color. Oh wait, no, that's the only color that was in this side, okay. Oop, did I miss one there? I did. This stuff is so cool. Cool, that's good for up top. Just do one more stretch down there at the bottom, I think. Nice. Cool. 
That's what we needed. Oh, oh, I'm not losing my life today. Oh, I'd find it. Okay. You know, I still think it'd be nice to have some sort of like a, a big hanger or something.
I tell you, New Year's Eve, having a blast right now. So I, I got Chris working, so he's working on New Year's Eve. So give him some props, give him some credit for that. But obviously we're using the 333G today along with the debris grapple. This is an HLA debris grapple. We'll tell you a little bit more about it. Oh man, it's, it's a sloppy, soupy mess, but it's high 30s, low 40s right now. And this debris grapple is sweet, man. Now I tell you though, check out HLA's website. They've got a ton of grapples on there. So we don't stock all of them. We stock uh, some of the, uh, the lighter weight duty ones for the compact tractors and some for the skid steers, but they have so many types, so many combinations, configurations. If you want to get one that we don't have in stock, we can order it for you and get it in and ship it out to you. So I'm going to tell you more about this grapple in a second, but first I got to ask, this is just the beginning, this brush that we have here from when we're gonna be clearing out this hillside and some other areas. And I think I wanna turn some of it into some habitat, right? Some wildlife habitat, brush cover for rabbits and, and other critters and whatnot. But I'm gonna have a lot of material. We're gonna cut you know, everything else, all the decent lumber out and try to turn it into firewood where we can. What do you guys do with all this? You just leave it on your property, you make a big burn pit and burn it off, you haul it away. I mean, what's the, what's the solution? Maybe there's not a one size fits all, but I'm just trying to get a plan together and I don't, I don't have a plan yet. Okay, so this particular grapple is really designed for skid steers. I am thinking about using it on my Kubota M4, a big utility tractor, um, but it weighs, well, this is a 72 inch version. It's gonna weigh in just over a thousand pounds. So it's heavy, it's got a lot of weight and compact tractors are just not gonna have enough lift capacity to make it worthwhile having something like this on there. So this is really for more of you skid steer owners, but you can get these from as small as 66 inches wide and then 72, 78, and up to 84 inches wide. And there will be some unique details about this grapple in particular. Uh, of course, it is gonna have a double jaw on the top uh, to clamp down. And you might be able to see that in the video, how it can clamp and tighten individually to get a better hold on whatever you're picking up. But this is tempered steel here. so. You don't need to have support bracing out at the end. There's just less support bracing overall. And because it's harder steel, it's not gonna bend as easily, but eliminating more of those cross supports are gonna mean that debris is gonna fall a lot easier instead of getting trapped in there. So that, of course, is the top half of what's going on, but it's the bottom half that might be the most unique thing about it. And so this is really where the name debris grapple or debris fork grapple comes into play. And it's gonna be these, I don't know how you say it, Caverlin, Vernlin tines. It's these tines right here. So these are all individually bolted on. So if you do end up bending one, uh, you see these a lot on manure forks as well, which are also offered by HLA. But you can see all the big slots that are down there in between, which means it's gonna allow that mud and that dirt to fall out and you kind of shake it out as well and let that stuff fall and just keep your branches and your other uh, debris that's in there that you wanna move around right in place. And so the distributor that I purchased HLA products through, this is, well, they've told me this is actually the most popular skid steer grapple that they sell and i can see why it's very handy very convenient um, you can use it for a lot of things you can almost treat it like a rake you kind of push it along right on the ground and just grabs and catches everything that you need and if you do catch some dirt you can just kind of shake it out when you're done but then you can of course just grapple down right on top of here and get those piles of debris you can get your logs you can get other piles of trash whatever you need to move them around and so if you're not aware the 333g is the biggest skid steer that john deere makes this is like 12 or 13 thousand pounds all right i mean this dwarfs a compact tractor and what it can do as far as the weight of the machine, the hydraulic system, just the force and pressures that are being applied and, and put behind this grapple. And so with something like this to have all these individual replaceable points if you need to or even one half of a top jaw if you had to replace it because you bent it up makes that a little bit more convenient and appealing because you don't have to go and replace the entire grapple or re-weld a bunch of stuff on and now i mentioned that just to point out the convenience and the ability to just replace one piece instead of having to take a whole bottom jaw off and put a whole new one on you know some guys have mentioned on some of the compact grapples that we sell if they have replaceable teeth and I don't know of any grapples out there that do have just individual replaceable teeth for them, but it's nice to know this is a cool feature. But because of how rugged this is built, I don't think it'll be replacing parts anytime soon. I think it's a really nice design feature to have a completely solid back going the entire way across. So as you are pushing forward, there's nothing that can come through and whack your tracks or your tires or your windshield or your frame or anything else around there. So that's a really nice feature. And then they've also built in uh, within the tube steel here, a little channel to be able to hide uh, the hoses and get all the way across from one side to the other to power your hydraulics. But the one thing that I need to get, and I didn't realize it was even an option until I was just looking a little closer at the specs, is they've got a hose hanger or a hose, whatever, hose bracket of some kind where I don't know where it even mounts. They didn't have a picture of it, but some place to get these hoses out of the way. You can see I kind of squish it in between here. 
right down here when this was fully retracted the hoses got pinched between this steel on the bracket and the bottom of the cylinder and i was trying to operate the open and close function on the grapple and nothing was happening i realized i had to pinch straight in there fortunately i think that outback wrap took most of the beating i don't see any any damage really on the hoses underneath there yeah, maybe just a little crease. That's about it. So HLA is just a huge company. They have a sister company as well, MK Martin, but we sell a boatload of their products. Their grapples, their forks, their snow pushers, their um, landscape equipment, just you name it. They have a wide variety, very, very well built stuff. So if you want something, just give us a shout. If you don't see it on our website, we can get a quote for you. You can buy it from us and we can ship it right to you no matter where you are in the country. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish up here get a few more trees pulled but I want to give a shout out to one of my guys Andy we had some extra UHMW the the poly that we uh, use and sell for cutting edges it comes in long strips and uh, this was a section of the six inch high by one and a quarter inch thick and we were trying to brainstorm on what to use to keep these tracks clean there's not really any good tools down there to clean out your tracks and if this mud freezes up in the winter time you're not gonna be able to move your skid steer. So um, didn't want to use the crowbar any longer than we had to because we didn't want to scratch up all the paint and everything there on, on the tracks and the carrier system. But he went home on the weekend and, and carved this little tool out here. Um, you know, it's a hard plastic, it's very strong, right? But it's not gonna scratch anything up. So we're gonna use this at the end, see how it does. Anyway, so stick around for that here in a few minutes. We're gonna grab a few more trees, but I wanna say thanks for stopping by today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did and you wanna see more videos about tractors, skid steers, equipment, having fun on the land, hit that subscribe button down below. And if you want something for your skid steer or your tractor, you know where to go. Check out goodworkstractors.com. We sell all sorts of attachments. We are shipping them out every day to customers all over the country. And don't forget about Outback Wrap. You save 10% off with code GWT. Head right to their website. I think it's outbackwrap.com and buy what you want. Enter code GWT on their website. Check out there. They ship it right to you. All righty guys, have a good one.
good stuff. Oh yeah. Nice. Still not a fun jab, but this makes it quite a bit better. 